Austin here, welcome back to Outer Space Productions. This is my series on the University of North Florida. You probably just watched my video on the 10 reasons that you should attend UNF, and now you're in the market for some healthy criticism, which I will be more than happy to provide because I know that selecting university is such a difficult decision. You want as much information as possible to weigh the good, the bad, and the ugly. So I will be honest and straightforward in this review, but do keep in mind, all bright things will cast shadow. So a lot of my points on this list will actually be more of the, the darker side effects of positive aspects of the school. Other things will just be straight out criticisms. Of course, no school that you're gonna go to will be perfect. It's just finding the best fit for you. And I highly recommend that you take a university tour, which will give you the the, the personal perspective, like you really get to feel the campus. Um, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. My ultimate opinion is that you should still go to UNF because I think it's a great school, but there are you know several caveats. All right, so the first thing on our list is going to be the commuter culture of the campus and more generally speaking, the design of the campus and its placement in relation to the surrounding areas. So as I've mentioned before, I love the UNF campus. I think it's absolutely beautiful, but it is very isolated and tucked away from the rest of the world with lots of nature uh, immediately around the campus. And so there's not a lot of devel development immediately around the campus. Um, so what ends up happening is that um, the on-campus housing is limited and quite expensive and off-campus housing um, is not within a practical walking or even bike riding distance in most cases. And so uh, this creates a commuter culture where students are having to drive from their apartments to the UNF campus every single day. In my personal opinion, the high percentage of students that commute every day doesn't do great things for the campus community or the campus culture because a lot of students, I feel in my experience, are more in and out. So they just come for class and then they're gone, maybe they stop for lunch. But there's really nothing incentivizing them to stay on campus or to stay in the immediate surrounding area. Um, take events for example. I think a lot of events at UNF suffer in terms of the amount of students that would come because of how many community students you have. Uh, sports events as well. Say for example there is a like a fair going on. The, they have like a Ferris wheel and they have free food. It's a really great event. If you live 30 minutes away um, it's a lot for you to make that commute just to go to this event that lasts a few hours and afterwards there's really nothing to do on campus or the immediate surrounding area and you have to drive quite a bit of distance to get to I don't know a popular bar or to more of a hip area where students would hang out. All right, so the commuter culture, you know, not great, but only one half of the problem in my opinion. The second half is going to be a lack of off-campus community and culture. So UNF is a relatively young school and it was built um, in an area that was very, very underdeveloped. The land was donated with a long-term plan of, you know, selling the land when the university grew to make more money. And so it just didn't have a college town that it grew with. And so it lacks that symbiotic relationship that a lot of universities have with their surrounding urban areas. Everything is very commercialized around UNF, as well as being you know, just like highways and roadways. Um, and it's also not in like a big city, so it just, it just lacks that, that connection with community outside of itself. For example, you have the St. John's Town Center, which is just this incredible shopping complex with, you know, thousands of options. It's just amazing, but they're all franchises. It's not like there's no local businesses that even care that they're right next to UNF. Like there's just no, there's no relationship there. So I think that kind of, that kind of hurts uh, the UNF student experience because you're only at UNF where UNF is present. Outside of UNF, it just it's, it's rather irrelevant if UNF was there at all in the surrounding direct community. And another thing is, is that like if you're a first year student or a sophomore living on campus and you don't have a vehicle or a friend who has a vehicle, it's just very difficult for you to access like resources that um, like matter to you. Uh, for example, like, yes, you can take the shuttle to go to Publix, but once again, it's a town center. It's just kind of sterile. There's not really much there other than shopping. Um, and if, you know, you want to go to the, like, the beach or more hip areas, you just, you really need a mode of transport and you really have to go well outside of the campus to find that, which for me was rather disappointing because I was very excited to go to college and to be in a community outside of the university itself where you could go to like you know bars or local restaurants where they'd have like stand-up comedy nights or you know shows and just having that connection between the student body and like local businesses and that's just in my experience has not been the thing. Three is going to be weekends on campus. Now this plays in a bit from the other two points is that like if you are a freshman or sophomore uh, living on campus or even an upperclassman living on campus, the weekends the school is just dead. There is nothing going on there. 
why would there be? It, you know, there are academic buildings that are tucked away in this nature preserve with really nothing else there. So it would, it makes total sense that no one's there on the weekends. Um, so this can be rather challenging if you're a, a first year student and you're like, yeah, it's a weekend, like let's go, let's go do stuff because it means you have to drive outside of the campus because you know, the campus is just gonna be empty. All right, so moving on, in my opinion, UNF lacks like a good centralized meeting place for students to hang out. Um, the student union should be that, and it's often advertised as that, but the building, in my opinion, is more aesthetic and internal function than it is for the functionality of students. So you have like government offices and student uh, club offices and study abroad, and there's a game room in there, and there is food and a restaurant, but past that, it's just like this big, beautiful building that a lot of students just walk straight through because they're going to their cars. Because of that commuter campus vibe, it would be nice if the Student Union could provide more spaces for students to hang out and kind of stop them and keep them on campus a little bit longer. Um, of course, you can't change that now, so that is a downside of what is otherwise a great building that provides a lot of service for the school. Of course, there are other places on campus where a lot of students do meet, such as the Green, which is this large grassy area where students will hang out, or the Library, which is always going to be a place where you can meet people and meet up with friends. But even with the both of those, I do not think that there is enough to incentivize those commuter students to stay on campus and give like a good central location. So a lot of the points I've covered up till now lead into this point, which is, in my opinion, UNF does not have the same degrees of school spirit and social cohesion that a larger university will have. There are many reasons for this, and it's not necessarily bad, it's just important to note, and it is definitely a criticism. There's no football team, so at a lot of schools, you know, football is what brings students together, you know, it's why you put on your, your, you know, your school gear and go together to see a game. UNF does has basketball, but uh, depending on the year, it can be kind of hit or miss on whether they're good, and even that has, you know, a cap to how many students I think that it brings together. Another thing is gonna be like, there is that commuter campus, and so students aren't really, you know, connected to UNF in the same way that that they would be if you know they were on campus and connected to the the social environment and community around the school now i'm not saying that unf does not have school spirit because that would be a total lie it absolutely does i love being an osprey i have many friends who you know wear unf gear and care about the school and want to be excited for the school what i'm saying is that UNF does not have the same levels of um, school spirit as maybe a larger university uh, would have. All right, so my next point is that the city of Jacksonville is super okay. It, there are redeemable aspects of Jacksonville. It has some nice, hip, cool areas. You have Jack's Beaches, you have San Marco, you have like Five Points and Riverside, uh, St. Augustine even going down south. So there's a lot of great things about Jacksonville, but the city as a whole is I, I don't like it very much. It is an urban planner's nightmare. Everything is so decentralized. Commuting times are really long and the, the downtown traffic patterns are absolutely miserable. Going through the city of Jacksonville is one of the worst experiences you will ever have in your driving career. It is just a nightmare. None of the road signs make sense. It's the worst. And even the downtown of Jacksonville, um, was not built for pedestrians and so there's not really a lot to do there and it can be kind of sketchy at times. Luckily UNF and Jacksonville are not directly in the same area. Um, Jacksonville City I'm talking about. So um, UNF is more south and closer to the coast. It's in a relatively nice area. Like I mentioned they have the St. John's Town Center so um, it's a nice area that it's in. But going into Jacksonville City is never in my experience has it been particularly fun. There are cool things there but it's like not a city that I'm like I'd be proud to show off as you know one of the great American cities. I wouldn't say that at all. All right, so next up is going to be your options for majors and minors. Now this is not to say that UNF does not have options because it absolutely does. You can study most things here, but unlike a large university, there's not going to be every option imaginable. Now this is only going to be a problem if you come in studying one thing and you want to switch your major and UNF maybe doesn't have it, or maybe you really want to go to UNF and they, you know the school does not have that uh, major option available to you. The second drawback is going to be that um, because you know there's not an exhaustive list of majors and minors that you can study at UNF, that the student body will kind of lack a little bit of diversity that you would find at a larger university. Now, generally speaking, this is not a problem, but um, it's just something to think about. So for my final point, I don't actually know how to phrase this, but um, 
the, the benefits of scale that you find at a large university, you're gonna miss out a little bit on at UNF. Um, for me personally, this meant like a large university would have student body population that, you know, because of how massive it is, that you would have a lot of talent that would be really great that would come out at the top. Being that like you would have like a lot of musicians on campus or, you know, stand-up comedians or just, you know, people who are really good at what they do and can group together just because of the, the you know, the mass scale of the school. Another thing would be like, um, uh, I, I didn't necessarily feel as if UNF uh, was a great place for, like incubating ideas and projects. And now this is just because of everything I've mentioned, like the commuter campus and not a great connection with the community and the size. Uh, but you know, when I thought about university, I thought about, you know, just like working with people on projects, you know, kind of like the, the Apple, you know, you know, the Apple garage. Um, so I just didn't feel like that was happening at UNF and um, minor drawback, that's probably way more personal. Uh, but you know, that's just something to consider as well. And that's just a drawback of a smaller school. All right, so thank you so much for watching. I, I hope you found some of this helpful. Like I said, these are drawbacks, but these are by no means uh, any reasons to write off UNF entirely. All schools will have problems, but maybe people aren't just talking about them. But I wanted to be honest with you and open that you know exactly what you're running into when you come to UNF and that way you can adjust your um, expectations accordingly. Um, if you have any more questions, please write them down in the comment section below. And if you are thinking about going to UNF, make sure you hit me up on Instagram at almost Austin. That way I can hit you up with a sticker when you arrive on campus. Um, I'll find a way. It doesn't matter how long in the future it's been. Uh, I have plenty more videos about UNF, so make sure you go check out that whole series. And uh, we'll, we'll talk to you later. I hope, I hope you found this helpful. I really do.